Hello, crafters. It's gassy. I'm going to try and bring this up. There it is. Make sure my volume's down. Set y'all here so I can see comments if anyone comes in. There we go. Okay, so, oh my goodness, and here we go with the blurry, blurry stuff again. Let me just sit here a second and see if it fixes itself. Oh my goodness. Hi, Mona. How are you, hon? Hey, Joy. I'm trying to see if my camera will focus, focus itself. I don't know why it's doing this. Looks like it might have fixed itself a little bit. It still looks a little blurry, but we'll go with it. You guys will get the gist of it. Okay, so I made some of these um, butterfly specimen cards a while back. I think it was a couple weeks ago. And someone asked if I could share how I made them. So I'm going to share how I made them. And I used the kit by My Porch Prince. It's her butterfly specimen cards. You get two pages of these bigger ones. Um, so you get eight of the big ones. And then you get one page of the smaller ones. And you get eight of those. Hey, Elizabeth. So you get eight of each size. It comes on three different sheets. I've already cut up the second sheet of the big ones. So... That's what you get with her kit. I don't know how much they are, but you can find them over on her Etsy shop. Um, again, that's my porch prints. Hi, Juanita. So I've already done a bit of prep here and got my pieces ready that I need. But to do this, you're going to need scissors, which I no longer need because my butterflies are already cut out. A metal ruler and an X-Acto knife is what I used. Um, when you're cutting these out, I go around and I use my scissors and I cut the cards out first. And then I take my ruler and I line it up like this with the middle of the specimen card. And then I cut with my X-Acto knife to get the middle piece of this to pop out. And then I take my fussy cutting scissors and then just cut the butterfly out. So... In essence, you're left with your fussy cut butterflies, and then you're left with the frames, and that's what I have there. So you're going to need a napkin or something to clean up your glue. You're going to need glue. You're going to need some ink. I'm going to use Stays On in the color Jet Black. It is a beautiful kit, Joy. It really is. I love her stuff. And then you're going to need some different stamps. I just have a couple of random stamps here that I like to use. Also, you're going to need some acetate. Um, I went on Amazon and I just bought a big pack of 12 by 12 acetate. So I have plenty of it on hand. I've already cut these down to the size that we need, and I'll tell you what that is when we get to it. You're going to need something for backgrounds. So these pieces here are going to go behind your slide. So to get started, you cut your middles out, and then you fussy cut your butterflies, and you set that stuff aside, and then you cut your pieces. My pieces of acetate are three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and they'll fit inside there. And then these pieces are 
just a tad over three and a half by three and three quarters. So I'm going to take my background pieces and I'm just going to do some random stamping on them. Yes, I know this one has a notch on it. Hi, Edwin. How are you? This one has a piece missing, but when we go to glue this on here like this, um, I haven't tried putting the acetate on both sides of the slide yet and putting like two of them together because I don't want to like have to put glue on my butterfly and then put it on the acetate and then have the glue show through. You could try to cut these to the butterflies, like print it twice and cut them to match perfectly. I don't know if you could do that or not. I'm sure it would be hard. I'm sure you could do it. But then my suggestion would be to take the two butterflies, back them, and then smush them between the acetate so it's clear. But anyway, so... By the time I glue this on here, it'll be fine, and you won't be able to see that little notch missing, so it'll be all right. It's just scrap from what I had. So I'm going to take these, if they cooperate here, and just do some random stamping on them. So, like I said, I'm using Jet Black Stays On. I got a little plastic sheet here that I don't care if it gets icky. Hello Kay. So I'm just going to take this and just random print. Doesn't matter if it comes out perfect or not. We'll just use what's left over on here to do another one. There we go. We got two of those. Then let's do this one. And this one I'm going to do just a little bit more random. Okay. And then on this other one, I think I'm going to use this number stamp. This is a Stampers Anonymous number stamp. And I'm just going to put this on here a couple different ways. On transparency paper? Yeah, there's an idea. That would work. I've never tried it that way. So I'm going to have it like that. And then I'll do just a little bit of script here. And hopefully it comes out light. So, to get a light impression, I'll just take that like that, and I'm going to stamp it off a couple of times, and then just do that, and it'll just be light. Okay, good enough. So, I'm going to put my stamps aside, close up my ink, and we'll move on. So... I should have inked these before I came on here, but hey, let's do this. Before I ink those, let's flip these over and glue our acetate on here. And then this can set and dry a little bit. Now when gluing your acetate on, you don't want to get heavy handed with your glue because you don't want it to smudge out and get on the front of your acetate. So you don't want to get too close to the inside of your frame and you don't want to put too much on there. So then I'm just going to take a piece of the acetate and lay it on here. And then when you go to rub it, rub your glue away from from the inside. So you're wiping your glue towards the outside of the frame instead of the middle. That way when you flip it over you have 
hopefully no glue mess in the middle of your window. So let's just do that on these other three. So, Joy did get partners posted for the Sisters Week of Love today. I know she did that, so if you guys are involved in that swap, you can go in there and check out who your partner is. It's not a bad idea to go in and check the swaps once in a while, because... There's constantly new ones being added. You can do it with your little slides. Yep. That would be fun too. This is just how I did mine a couple weeks ago with this kit. And a couple of people asked me if I could show how I made them. So I figured why not? It's been a while, Juanita. How have you been, girlfriend? Okay. Putting our last one on here. And I'm going to let those sit there and dry for a couple minutes. And I'm going to ink around these butterflies really quick. Just a quick little ink. These butterflies did have antennas on them, but I cut those off because, you know, that's a little too fussy for me. I'm not sure if I did that the first time or not, but... Because sometimes I cut the antenna out, sometimes I don't on these ones tonight. I didn't want to cut it out. Been working a lot. Back to work, huh? Well, that's kind of good. Keeping you out of trouble, is it? I talked to Virginia the other day. She popped in chat. It was nice to see her. Okay, so I've got my butterflies inked, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my background pieces, and that one's totally upside down, and then the background piece is going to go on here, so you just kind of want to, this part, you just kind of eyeball it, so if I want it in there, okay, so you just eyeball it. Yeah, from paintbrush bristles. Or you can just take a black pen and draw them on there. Yep. So with this part, you just kind of... Oh, how fun, Juanita. You just kind of eyeball it and try and get it somewhat in the center if you can. If you don't get it in the center, it's not a big deal. And then all you do is glue it on the back. And see, I have that a little off center. So what I'll do is I'll just raise it up a little bit and then glue it and then cut the extra off. So I'll just put some glue here. Oh, and my glue's like all stopping up on me and stuff. Well... Speaking of Virginia, there she is now. Hi, Virginia. I was just telling Juanita how you popped in chat the other day, and it was good to see you. So, 
I'm just gonna kind of lay this on here. You gotta kind of work quick with the art glitter glue because it sets pretty fast. And then glue it here. Give it a good smoosh. You know, that technical term, smoosh. And then I'm just going to trim that extra off. And then you've got yourself a cute little card. You can go back over and um, back this with something else. If you're going to use it as like a journaling card, you could put a full piece of paper on the back to cover it or... Um, you know, you could take another one of these and back it against it so that you've got it on both sides of it. So let's take this piece now and again, glue your butterfly. Center it as best as you can. If you want to put them at an angle, you can put them at an angle. You can put them in here however you want. Not too bad looking. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my glue all the way around the edge of this one because it seemed to be pretty center. There we go. Give that a little bit of a press. And so now we've got two of them. So if I wanted to at this point, I could take these and glue them together here. And then so you'd have that on one side and that on the other side. And that'd be cool to just kind of tuck in a pocket or something. Or you could punch in a hole up here and put an eyelet in it and have it as a dangle that'd be kind of a big dangle but you could dangle it off of something but um the punch in the hole and put an eyelets in i would do more with these small ones instead of the big ones these ones i would use more as like journaling cards or writing on them or just something fun to tuck in a pocket so i'll just glue these other two real quick and that's really all I've got for you guys tonight. Just a few friendly reminders for those in group. If you're new, check out the file section. There's a place in the files for you to put your birthday if you want a little shout out on your birthday. There's also the rack list that if you plan on participating in any of our swaps or events that we have going on, uh, we just ask that you put your name in the rack list, so make sure that's done if you want to participate. And then go over and check out the events tab, and there are a ton of events going on. Multiple people have events going on. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Joy. So let's just get these glued in here. And then that'll be my simple Sunday. You're welcome, Joy. My glue's stopping up on me again because I'm leaving the lid off. So... get it on there. This one's a little crooked, but that's okay. It's a junk journal, right? Nothing has to be perfect. So there's that one. And then let me clear this and then we'll glue our last one together. Thanks, Elizabeth.
Okay, we've got our glue on that one. Let's, oops. Get her set down. And there we go. We've got ourselves four little specimen cards. And I will go around and ink the outsides of these, but I won't make y'all stay and watch that. But yeah, again, this is the kit from My Porch Prints. You can find her on Etsy. It is a really pretty kit. It's got eight of these small ones, and it's got eight of the larger ones. And if you guys missed any of the tutorial on how to do this, the video will be available shortly after I exit out for you guys to go back and watch the beginning of it. You can see everything that I did and how I made these. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had a wonderful week. I hope you all have a wonderful Monday and the week coming up. And I'll see you all around group and I'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.